Hi, Dr. Peterson here. I just wanted to show you really quickly how to analyze a video in Tracker. Uh, so I've got my video loaded in um, and I can just uh, scroll through it really quickly so you can see what we've got. So we're just launching a cart and it's rolling at constant velocity and our goal is to figure out what that velocity is. So if you've had a chance to use these uh, things in the lab before, you may remember these little bumpers have some magnets in them. And the ends of the carts have magnets too. So if you hold the cart against the magnets as the student is doing and then let it go, uh, that will act like a little spring that will give the cart uh, pretty much the same velocity every time you launch it. Like So first thing we want to do is uh, I want to I go up here. I want to show my coordinate axes, right? So they're there all the time, even if they're hidden. But the reason I want to do that is that if I kind of grab the middle here and drag them around. You can see the cart uh, is not perfectly flat in the video. Uh, that's not a huge problem. It's pretty close actually, but um, it might be a good idea to rotate the coordinate axes so that they line up so that all our motion is in one dimension. That will make our analysis a lot easier. The next thing I do is, uh, is as I move around the screen here, you see these X and Y values here and that's giving me values in pixels but I want values in something like meters or centimeters right I want real world units right what do pixels mean so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a calibration tool up here stick or tape it doesn't really matter they just look a little different one has arrows All right so now you can see here it's saying calibration stick shift click to mark end one so I'll do that I'm just gonna if I hold down shift you see my cursor changes to a crosshairs now I'll click here right and then now it's saying shift click to mark n2. So let's see, I'm gonna mark n2 over here at 20 centimeters, right? I'm gonna change the units of this to centimeters. Yeah. So now uh, my X and Y coordinates are in centimeters. And this isn't the best because this, you notice this ruler is actually a lot closer to the camera than the track. So there's gonna be some perspective shift there, but uh, it's good enough for us to get a result. So. We actually need to track something, so we need to tell the program where this cart is. We're going to create a point mass, because right, we're just going to track one point on the cart. And now you can see that it is telling me to shift click to mark the mass. Right? I'm going to pick a point on the cart that I will follow every time. I'm holding down shift now, so you see I get the crosshairs, and now when I click, uh, it makes a point. You see I get a point on the graph and a point in the table, and it also advances a frame for me. So, and I can just keep going. Get decent number of points for my graph. So if I let go of shift, now you see all those points. If you feel like you messed up, you can uh, right click and then you could even delete, clear all the steps or delete the selected step or something like that. All right, so now we've got our graph, but we wanna be able to analyze it, uh, right? We wanna know what the slope of this position versus time graph is. So if in this view menu we go to analyze or you can right click on the graph itself and go to analyze. So see here, I got my data, so put that away. But I, what I really want is curve fits, right? So here now, uh, it's just automatically selected a line for me. So there I've got my linear fit. So this is my slope, right? There's my fit equation, and A is the slope. So that should be my velocity. Right? So that's 8 centimeters per second. And notice if I hover over the value, it gives me the standard error. So that's 8 centimeters per second, plus or minus 0.11 centimeters per second. So uh, that is how you analyze a video on Tracker.